Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion and this is the Corsair H60 CPU cooler. It is the updated Hydro Series H60 with the same 120mm uh, form factor but as you can see it has a new mounting kit and also has been updated in terms of design to deliver better performance. And as you can see here on the package it is not, uh, it's not a massive heatsink, it's actually quite light as well. And uh, it is a self-contained unit that means you don't need to um, maintain it, you don't need to replace the liquid inside all of it covered within the five-year warranty so after opening the package you can see what you can find inside you get of course the manual it is a multilingual manual and uh, let's see here that it is illustrated as well so it's easier to follow and put aside also some promotional product guide here although this one is actually it says 2010 so it probably doesn't have the latest uh, Corsair products in here but it is a promotional uh, leaflet anyway here is the warranty information as mentioned five-year warranty for the Corsair H60 high performance liquid CPU cooler also aside and show you what you can find inside the box you get of course the fan the HMR uh, covered here in plastic. Let me just remove them one by one. Here you get the accessory mounting. These, is, these are the updated uh, brackets for both AMD and uh, Intel. With the old one you need to screw them in but for these ones uh, these are magnetic so they're much easier to install. I'm going to show you that later on. And uh, here we also get a new fan. It's here as a Corsair fan. And the uh, some screws tucked in here as well. Let me just try to get grab it. There we go. Has a bag of screws. It has the mounting in there as well. Of course, uh, make sure to keep track of these. You don't want to lose it. And of course, the main unit itself. Just pull it out here and move the box aside. And then remove the plastic so you can see it. See, it is a 120 millimeter, but the radiator is slightly larger. As you can see, that it's taller as well. There is uh, a bit more reservoir in there, and the uh, the uh, hose itself is thicker compared to the H55. And uh, I just dropped the cover here for the. Uh, for the copper plate there, cold plate, and it has also the pre-applied thermal paste and uh, has the fan uh, connector. You have a three-pin fan connector. And here is, uh, it's also not a big uh, profile cooler. It's not tall, uh, but of course the new updated design is designed so that it uh, doesn't obscure uh, components and you can install as tall as RAM as you want. And let's take a closer look at this unit and also we'll take a look at the how to install this unit in both AMD systems as well as Intel systems and let's check out how well it performs compared to the other high-end units. Alright, so here you have the Corsair H60 laid out. This is all that is contained in that package. Here you have the Intel locking kit on top with the mounting screws for the LG1111 and LG1155, 1136, or LG1155. You also have the locks for these particular uh, screws there. And you have the back plate for the Intel. And you also have the AMD locking mechanism. These two are part of the AMD locking mechanism. And you have the screws, and four of the long ones, and washers for mounting the fan into the included radiator and into your case. Now, uh, you can see that only one set of uh, a long screws here for mounting the fan. That means if, you're, if you want to mount an additional fan, you need to purchase additional screws. And also, this, uh, this long screw will allow you to mount it with the fan as an intake. So if you want to mount the fan as an... an an exhaust you can mount it with that but then you need another set of screws to mount the radiator itself onto the case another shorter set of screws and of course you have let me just show you the SP120 millimeter fan here closer it has a gray uh, kind of design there 
very cool looking different of course you have the newer layout it ha it doesn't have the straight line here so there's uh, this area right here when it is active uh, uh, air can kind of pass through that area and you have the PWM connector here for pin and in the rear and of course the main unit itself and some updates compared to the old design of the H60 it's still a 120 millimeter radiator as you can see there it has these uh, more flexible uh, rubberized tubing they're much easier to manage than the harder plastic one you have a cool looking uh, Corsair logo right there on top of the pump unit and the let me just show you what it looks like underneath here it has a protective cover it has of course pre-applied thermal paste you can use that or you can just wipe that out and clean it and you have the copper uh, you have the copper base there and a cold plate and the connector itself is already plugged in for the uh, it's hardwired in there for the pump it is a three pin connector so to do now is uh, I'm going to show you how to install these you can click it it's in a separate video I will include that link at the bottom of this uh, uh, more info part of this YouTube video click there and also on through our website you can access it there and once I mount it I'm gonna take a look at the performance compared to other uh, similarly priced coolers All right, there you have it. You have the benchmarks for the Corsair H60. They compared with the NHD14 and the uh, TC14CS and the H55, which we have previously reviewed. And in terms of performance, if you notice that the performance difference is not too big of a gap between the H55 and H60, which is not really surprising since essentially they are the same. They're 100, they use 120 millimeter fans and 120 millimeter radiator, almost the same thickness. Just the pump is slightly different uh, in terms of OEM and the uh, the mounting. Uh, that's the difference really. If you're buying an H60, you're getting an easier mounting mechanism, much easier than the Asetek design, which has, still uses that round uh, locking thing. While the magnetic update to the H60, I love that. Especially, I I've seen the I've used the H100 with the screw-on ones, where you have to replace the Intel with the AMD one or AMD with the Intel one. With the H60, you just need to slap it on top. It is magnetic, fully magnetic, and you just basically set it and uh, you just uh, turn the thumb screws. No tools at all. You're ready to go. And also the in terms of noise, the new fan uh, that's used on H60 compared to H55 is a lot quieter on lower voltages, but uh, it is PWM, it is quieter, uh, but at maximum, it is only slightly quieter on maximum uh, speed, but still, it pushes a lot more air. Just look at the specs, the, uh, the, the CFM is a lot better, and also, the uh, both of them, really, the fan, uh, the the kind of the noise performance between them they don't really produce any high pitch noise so I like that uh, you can uh, but th with the H60 you can uh, get away with not running the fan and higher uh, at a higher RPM and still get a decent uh, performance number in terms of the temperature now as for warranty the H60 comes with a five-year warranty so that is very good I have the H55 as well gets a five-year warranty and uh, that's essentially the same as H100 and you get total peace of mind in terms of uh, security in case your unit leaks. I believe Corsair has a worldwide warranty in effect and you can just contact them. They have very good uh, customer support. I have contacted them myself. I had to replace the H100. So uh, I would definitely recommend H60 and give it a gold award which is essentially the same as the H55. I will, uh, it would have gotten an editor's choice if the performance difference was a little bit more uh, in terms of uh, the gap between them, but uh, uh, since they're almost similar, but the uh, the H60 edges out the H55 a bit, I'd give this a gold award similar to the uh, Corsair H55, but not an editor's choice award. Almost there, but uh, not quite. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching. This is Ron from High Tech Legion, and uh, I'm signing off. So I'm, you can read the rest of you at uh, well, just click down below. Just leave questions or comments. 
and uh, go to our Facebook, facebook.com slash hlreviews and subscribe to our channel and uh, like it, like this video if you uh, if you like our reviews and subscribe for daily updates. Again, thanks for watching and see you next time.